Okay, students, we are doing paper six of year 2024, May, June, variant three. We did question number one and two in our previous video. So you can watch the previous video for these two questions. And now we are starting with question number three. Now, question number three is a salt chemical analysis question. A student tests two substances, solid K and solution L. Now we have to identify what is it. Solid K is copper carbonate. They have already given us that this is copper carbonate. Now the certain experiments are done on them. Complete the expected observations. The student adds about five centimeter cube of dilute hydrochloric acid to solid K. What will be the observation? Now the solid K is copper carbonate and we are adding hydrochloric acid in it. You can write the equation like this to find out that what is formed. Now, whenever we react a metal carbonate with an acid, that metal salt will be formed. So, copper chloride will be formed plus water plus this carbonate will always give carbon dioxide gas. So, what will be our expected observation? The observation will be bubbles or effervescence of a colorless gas. The solution made in A is solution M. So a solution made in A. So in A, what is formed? Copper chloride solution is formed in, uh, in the previous equation. So, solution M would be copper chloride solution. So, a solution made in A is solution M. A student divides solution M into two portions. To the first portion of solution M, a student adds aqueous ammonia dropwise until it is in excess. What will be our observation? Now, a student is adding aqueous ammonia. There is copper and chloride. The aqueous ammonia, this test, test of aqueous ammonia is for the positive ions, for the copper ion, for the cat ions. So, let's see. From the data sheet, in the data sheet, we can see for the copper ions, copper 2 plus with ammonia. This is the effect of aqueous ammonia. In the ammonia, the copper is giving light blue PPT and they are soluble in excess, giving a dark blue solution. So, what will be our observation? Our observation will be blue precipitates. Blue precipitates and which dissolves in excess, giving dark blue solution so we have th this question is of three marks so we have to write everything that it this it, it by adding aqueous ammonia we are getting light blue precipitates blue precipitates which dissolve in excess and giving a dark blue solution and everything is mentioned in the data sheet next question a student carries out a flame test on second portion of m now flame test is also for the cations if we see here, the copper gives light, uh, copper gives blue green color of the flame. So we'll write here, the color will be blue green. Describe how the student should carry out the flame test. Now, how to carry out a flame test? We'll write that for the flame test, there will be, um, we will clean the nichrome wire first. Clean the nichrome wire, dip in HCl to clean it, then dip the wire in salt, sorry, in the metal salt or in the metal compound. Observe the color under the flame. Uh, under the Bunsen burner. 
observe the color of the flame until the uh, under the Bunsen burner, and also uh, it should be blue flame. Because it should be a complete combustion. So, but should not confuse it with uh, the color of the flame. So, this much is enough. Next question. Okay, same question, same uh, next part. The test on solution L. Table 3.1 shows the test and student's observation on solution L. Solution L was divided into four por into two portions. To the first portion of solution L, add aqueous sodium hydroxide drop ice until in excess. White precipitate forms which is sol insoluble in excess. Insoluble. So let's see. This thing is giving white precipitate with sodium hydroxide. So these are the cations. These are the cations and this is sodium hydroxide. So we can see here. Then in sodium hydroxide, aluminium is giving white PPT, calcium is giving white PPT, and zinc is giving white PPT. But when we add it in excess, the substance should be insoluble. The ion should be insoluble. So here aluminium is soluble, zinc is also soluble in excess, but calcium is insoluble in excess. So it means that this will be calcium, calcium ion. Next to the second portion of solution L, add one centimeter cube of dilute nitric acid followed by few drops of aqueous silver nitrate. Now we add aqueous silver nitrate and we are getting cream PPT. So let's see what is it. In the anions, if we see that we are adding silver nitrate, this is a test for three ions. By adding silver nitrate, we can test three ions, chloride, bromide, and iodide. Both are all, all three are giving different color precipitates, and bromide is giving cream precipitates with silver nitrate. So the ion will be bromide. Now identify solution L. So solution L will be calcium bromide. Next question is that iron rusts slowly when exposed to air and water. Okay, rusting is formed on iron when it is exposed to water and air. There is an increase in mass when iron rusts as the insoluble solid hydrated iron oxide forms. Cast iron, mild steel and stainless steel are all alloys that contain iron. Plan an experiment to find which of these three alloys rust more quickly when exposed to water and air. Include in your answer how the results of the experiments will show which alloy rusts more quickly. You are provided with powdered cast iron, powdered mild steel and powdered stainless steel and common laboratory apparatus. So we have three types of steels. We have cast iron, we have mild steel, we have stainless steel and we want, we want to... We, we will plan an experiment to find out that which one will rust the quickest. So, for this one, we have these in the powder form, so we don't need to crush, crushing or crush or grind them. But what we'll do, we'll take the equal quantities of all the three substances to compare them to make our, our test a fair test. So, number one, we... Number one is measure or take the known equal mass of all three all three substances take the equal mass of all three substances okay we'll take the equal quantity then number two place them in a container or in a container or a flask or a beaker containing water. Okay, we'll place them into the water. After that, we will left it, left them, leave them for some time. Okay. 
in and open air. This is also very important because we need oxygen also for resting. So leave them in an open air for some time. When they get rusted, you have to filter them out because rust is insoluble in water. So rusting forms on them which is insoluble in water. So filter them one by one. We'll filter them. After that, the residue which we get, we will dry the residue. We'll dry the residue. Point number six will weigh the residue or the solid residue will weigh it. After weighing, point number seven will be the largest mass will rust the most quickly. Or the substance having the largest mass. The substance giving giving the largest mass of hydrated iron 3 oxide will rust the most quickly or has rusted the most quickly. So these are the points which we'll write. It, it, this question was very easy. You just have to focus and write all the all the main points to get the good to get the full and full maths. So this is the answer of this question. Hope you have understood everything.